uh, we don't have a whole lot going on today. We're just gonna go run around and uh, do some errands. But uh, yeah, we're in the truck and we just realized we had a little problem here. Yeah, can you see those little guys right there? We left something sugary in the car and the ants have decided to infest the vehicle. So our first, uh, our first job today is to take car to the car wash and get that fixed right now. <laughs> that is nasty. Yeah, guys, it was time to get the beast washed anyway. We've had this thing for almost a month. It's never been washed once. It was looking pretty nasty. Yes, I know, I know. Who washes a rental car? It's just kind of a courtesy we do before we bring it back. We we usually, especially when we rent it this long, we usually get it washed. It's only 200 bots, so it's not like it's a big deal. Anyway, here's a car wash we go to right here between Proctum Knox Soy 5 and Soy 4. Super easy to find. I highly recommend them. They did our last wash, did an awesome job, took care of the truck. We loved it. All right, while we wait, we're going to walk around the uh, Proctum Knock area, get a few steps in and kind of look and see what's going on. As you can see, lots of new buildings going up. And this isn't half-built projects that are they're restarted. No, this stuff has been going nonstop through the pandemic. They're almost done with this building. Looks like it's going to be a nice place. Proctum Knock is going to be a hot spot, guys. I'm going to tell you right now, it's definitely starting to pick up on Proctum Knock. Might want to get in when you fit in because it's such a good central location. Hold up. Squirrel. Literally. Squirrel. <laughs> There he goes, it's hopping along the wires. Don't get electrocuted, buddy. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, yeah, Pratumnak is heating up just because of the convenience of its location. It's perfectly nestled between Jamtien and Patia, and it's kind of away from all the craziness. Up a little bit, you don't have to worry about flooding up here. Obviously, it's on a hill. You got easy access to beaches, tons of restaurants and other services up here. The only thing I don't think they have up here is like a major grocery store. It's not that big a deal to go shopping. Got you covered for most conveniences right up here on the hill. Okay, check out this place, guys. The Mona Lisa Pool Villa. Don't know what the story is here. There's no vehicles out here, though. I don't even know if this place is open or what the story is. I see they got like a little Jurassic or Juristic office over there. Okay, I see one unit here that has like, uh, there's obviously some children living here, but look at this. Look at this setup. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I've probably ridden past places like these a million times, and you just don't notice them when you're driving. You literally have to walk around here to catch these places or you're never gonna see them. But this is interesting. It looks like the pool could use a little work, but it's, it looks very clean. I think they're just not in operation right now or something. I don't, I'm not quite sure what the deal is, but I definitely wanna find out some more information about this place. All right, I don't really like this setup because they don't have a whole lot of parking going on. You gotta park your bike outside. I really don't like parking. You know, I mean, guys, the, the heat here is gonna destroy your vehicles if you don't have them covered. The sun is just too strong. It's already bad enough they're exposed to so much humidity and salt spray and all that. Don't add sun into the mix. So if you can, if you plan on having any kind of vehicle, bike, or, or car, you're probably going to want a place to cover up. But still, this is a cute little condo. I love small buildings like this. Way more intimate, way less neighbors to deal with. They probably only have one elevator, but that's all they need. Dig spots like that. And I don't know, this place might have a rooftop pool or a lower pool, I'm not sure. But almost always, there's a pool. I wouldn't, I'm not going to rent a place in uh, Thailand without a pool. Even if I don't use it that much, I want the option. Take a look at this menu they got here, this little random cafe we stopped into. Yeah, ham and cheese croissant, that looks good. Scrambled egg, this all looks really pretty tasty, guys. Loving the pictures too. Avocado bacon egg baguette, I mean, come on. Come on, how could that be bad? It's gotta be tasty. Kiona salad, got some healthy options too. Not bad, not bad. Look at over here, then they got like some oatmeal, some superfoods. Not bad, not bad. Paninis, hey panini. Don't you be a meanie. Pretty good. English breakfast, yeah. Not a bad menu here. What are you doing, Fi? What's that? Cheesecake. Uh-huh. Chocolate cheesecake. Yeah. That's your breakfast. This is Fa's first meal of the day right here. <laughs> Chocolate cheesecake. We can eat food later, right? Oh, really? So you're going to have your, have your dessert before you, before you eat your real meal, huh? Yes. Okay. You think you can do that? You think that's okay? Yes, okay. Why is it okay? Can we eat now? No? No? What, what are you trying to do? Hey, 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 what are you doing? Why are you trying to eat? Stop. It's not good for you. Stop, stop. Don't do it. Yeah, she's not going to listen to me. There it goes. Yum. Mm -hmm. That cute little cafe, Cohen Cafe. This little area, there's tons of little cafes. That's what I'm saying, guys. You live up here, you got all these options. And, you know, if you don't really want to cook, just go there every day. I mean, it's not going to be very expensive. How much do we pay for, for some? Uh, 170. Yeah, 170 by for some uh, cheesecake, couple of drinks. Whatever, whatever, you could do that every day. Get a little breakfast up in there, whatever, you know, why go shopping? That's no fun. 
<laughs> Live free. Go yeah, we gotta go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, big C coming up. I know you guys are very excited for that. Coming up real quick. All right, it's all cleaned up, looking good, guys. Let's pay and go. All right, we're all cleaned up, but we still got a little bit of an ant problem. I'm gonna get some really good stuff called ant gel. If you've never heard of ant gel, this stuff is awesome. It's just like a little gel, and you only need a little tiny dot of it. Not too cheap. I think it's like 200 baht for like one little tube, but it works really good. You put that down, the ants eat that. They take it back to their home, nest, whatever, and it kills all of them. And these are just little sugar ants. They're not like fire ants or anything crazy. They're not gonna bite far. No. <laughs> All right, where are we going now? Go to Big C. Yes. Big C, and then what? And go to the cafe. What cafe? Who said we're going to a cafe? What are you talking about? <laughs> Coming up soon. All right, it's Big C, guys. The most incredible shopping experience in Patia. Okay, well, maybe it's not that great, but whatever. Let's go in here and see what's going on. Ooh, massage chairs. Get a massage. Massage chair. So I really, really like some. You know, I'm not. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. We're gonna go massage chair. Uh, <laughs> not happening. That's like a torture device for her. Yes, guys, we know it's not always 100 exciting, super, super cool content, but this is our daily life in Patty. Hope you're enjoying it. Please smash the like button. We appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. We like it. All right. Thanks, guys. Fa always loves to push the cart until I get water. And then as soon as I put like three packs of water in there, she's no longer interested in pushing the cart. Thanks, Fa. You're the best helper ever. You know, guys, I've been thinking about getting one of these things, a little Gucci chair, but look at the price. Look, that's less than like $150 US. Now, this thing's probably only gonna last about a year, but pretty comfortable. Fa's gonna test it out. Yeah, she digs it. Put it out. Hold on, sit. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Be careful. Lean back. Can you push back? It should push back more. No, that's it. Okay. No, it doesn't. Okay, well, get out of it now. Get out. What's your problem? This is Larry. So if I bought this chair, Fa would not be able to use it. <laughs> Come on. Get you. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Ugh, psycho lady. I'm sure by now, if you guys have been watching YouTube channels on Thailand, you already know what a big C is. But if you don't know what a big C is, it's basically like Kmart in the States. So I don't know what the equivalent it is in in Oz or uh, or Britain, but maybe you can comment down below. Let us know what Kmart is. It's it's not, I would say it's not as good as Walmart. So that's why I put it in the Kmart category. Walmart is just, I don't know, way better. I wish they had a Walmart copy here. That would be awesome, but they're not at that level yet. It is kind of like Walmart, but more like Kmart to me. Okay, we got the water now. Come on, Fa, what's the problem? You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you want to push the cart. What's wrong? What? Why do I got to do it? You do it. It's hurry now. Aww. Pro tip, guys. Don't forget your bag. You're going to have to buy one. How much was the bag? 25 baht. Woo, 25 baht. These are good bags, though. We actually want, we should probably get two of those. I really like that bag. If I pick up the groceries, hurry up. What do we get? We get a discount? Something special? Woo, we got a discount. Yay. Okay, pick up the bag, baby. Hurry up. Come on, do it. <laughs> Right, gang, please send money now. Send money now. Fa needs new pants, please. Oh, wait, it's supposed to look like that. <laughs> Where are we going, Fa? Now we're gonna go eat ramen. Ramen? Yeah. Okay, well, let's go check it out. This ramen place. I don't know what's so special about ramen. We're back down here, Patia Klang and Beach Row, guys. Yes, there is another Patia Fest parade and all that fun stuff going on again tonight. We might film a little bit of that later, but you know, priority number one is. <laughs> let's go. So, where are we? Over this here? Ramen Ozawa, whatever that means. Anyway, this place is pretty cool, definitely in the style of Japan. If you've ever been to Tokyo or anything like that, you'll see a million places that look just like this. Very cool. Anyway, let's go in here and see what's on the menu. So they got like two different spots here, yeah? One's a ramen spot, one's something different. Or is it all connected? I guess it's all connected. You gonna go in or what? What are we doing out here? Let's go. I love when you can see the kitchen. All right, where are we sitting? Pick a spot. Up to you. Very Tokyo style. The only thing difference between this and Tokyo is there's about three times more room in here than you get in Tokyo. It's not very crowded in here, very spacious, very nice. Great looking menu though, look at that. Whoa, lots of goodies. Fa is ready to get her ramen on. You go, girl. Fa's getting some spicy ramen, yum.
it's the ramen. Excited? Yeah. A half year already we're talking about this. Only six months? Yeah. Oh, okay, so we got here right on time then. Hello, eh? Okay. <laughs> Share food. You share, but I'm not. Oh, oh really? Oh, okay. My. Give it to me. Come on. I'm worried about No, you're not. You just don't want to share your food. You're not worried about me. Why you just lie? You just lied to all the people right now. Must have Japanese owners or something here because this food is insanely good and it all tastes like it's homemade, like it's handmade. I don't think that any of this stuff is coming out of a box. Really tasty. This gyoza is next level. I mean, like how excited can you get about gyoza? But this is super, super good gyoza. About to crack into this karagi chicken and curry. Hopefully it's good. We'll see what happens. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna sing the praises here a little bit. Like this meat here is good thigh meat, torn off the bone and hand dipped in batter and cooked. There's no way this came out of a bag like that. It is so fresh and delicious. And this curry, whoo, it's got some heat to it, but it is phenomenal. Really good food. What you think, Paul? Wow, that was, that was pretty impressive, guys. It really was. I mean, this, uh, I guess we should have been here a long time ago. This place been open about six months, first time we come here. <laughs> uh, look at the price, guys. Yeah, that was $3.91 total for all of our food. That's an insult. It's an insult. I'd have paid 200 more, at least. It's really good, really good. We still gotta tour you guys around the place a little bit. Right, I don't know what the story is here. They got like coffee and, yeah, this seemed like a little sushi over here. They got a photo booth you never used before. <laughs> I don't even know where that, I guess you maybe just pay them or something. I don't know, I don't know how that works. Anyway, they got sushi over here, guys. And I'm pretty sure you get curry over here too. They also have like some small Japanese snacks, like the little, cooked fish and the little balls, the little rice balls and all that tasty stuff. Nice. All right, they got a little upstairs area here. We're just gonna go take a look. <laughs> we have full bellies. For a 391 baht, I'm, I'm telling you, between the gyoza and the karagi, I'm full. That was really, really tasty. And Fa just had a big bowl of ramen. She's good. Let's take a look upstairs. Wow, very nice. We just getting some video, sorry guys. A little more of a party atmosphere. They have so much room. They can also support a live band up here. Looks like they're gonna have some music tonight. Very cool, look at this. And look at the view up here. Very, very chill. Look at this. You can sit like a bucket here. Yeah, they got little seating buckets out here. Pretty cool, all right. Anyway, let me know what you uh, guys think down below if you would come and hang out here. I love it, it's great. Mm -mm -mm. It's ice cream time. Fa thinks I'm gonna share this with her, but she's she's wrong. Wait, hey, that's mine. Get away, mine. I have my ice cream now. Can I, this is, you didn't want one. Why are you gonna steal mine? Hmm? You want? Too bad. Oh, uh, yeah, we keep forgetting our outros. <laughs> anyway, we had a great time at the Japanese restaurant, walked around a little bit. Yeah, nothing too exciting. Jay's Casino, chocolate made in Thailand. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye guys. See you.